Hi, welcome to this Code Maths video on quadratic graphs. In this video, we're going to look at how to find the equation of a line of symmetry of a quadratic graph. Now, a quadratic graph has this shape. It's called a parabola. And it could be a U-shaped parabola if it's a positive x squared graph, for instance, x squared or 5x squared or something like that. Or it could be an N-shaped parabola if it's a negative x squared graph, so for instance, minus x squared or minus 7x squared or something like that. And the line of symmetry will be a vertical line passing straight through the middle of the parabola. So it looks something like this dotted line here. And that line, it's a vertical line, so its equation would be x equals. And because it passes through the middle of the parabola, all we need to know is where it crosses the x-axis. And that would tell us the equation of the line. So for instance, if it passed through the point 8 on the x-axis, the equation of this line of symmetry would be x equals 8. And this graph, if it, the line of symmetry passed through the number 11 on the x-axis, the equation of this line of symmetry for this parabola would be x equals 11. So the line of symmetry of a quadratic graph will be a vertical line. And to find the equation of the line of symmetry, all we need to do is find where the vertical line crosses the x-axis, and then it would be x equals that number. And that's it. OK, let's have a look at some questions. So here we've been given a quadratic graph. And the quadratic graph crosses the x-axis at the point 1 and again at the point 5. And we've been asked to find the equation of the line of symmetry of this quadratic. So as we know, it's going to be a vertical line. And as you can see, it's symmetrical. So, so the 1 is the same distance from the mirror line as the 5. So this line will pass through the middle. And because it's passing through the middle, we know it's going to be 3. It's going to cross the x-axis at 3. So that means the equation of this line of symmetry would be x equals 3. Now sometimes, rather than drawing the quadratic for us, we have to figure out what the quadratic looks like ourselves. So here we've got a question where we've been given y equals x squared plus 2x minus 24, and it's got a line of symmetry, and we've been asked to write down the equation of the line of symmetry. Now I've chosen this quadratic on purpose because what we're going to do is we're going to sketch it and find where it crosses the x-axis, and we're going to find our line of symmetry that way. Now there are questions where the graph doesn't actually cross the x-axis, and we have to use a technique called completing the square and and no transformations of graphs to do that. And I'll talk a bit about that after this example. So we want to find where this graph crosses the x-axis. So to find where a quadratic crosses the x-axis, we know the height will be 0, the y will be 0. So we're going to write 0 equals x squared plus 2x minus 24. Now to find the values of x where it crosses the x-axis, we're going to solve this equation. So we're going to factorize it. So bracket, 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 bracket. We're going to put x at the front of the brackets. And we're looking for two numbers that will multiply together to give us minus 24 and add together to be 2. So that means because the times are going to be a negative, that means that one of them is positive and one of them is negative. And we're looking for numbers that times together to be minus 24. So I'm thinking 6 and 4. And we want them to add together to be 2. So it's going to be plus 6 and minus 4. Now, to find our values of x, well, we want our brackets to equal 0. So in this case, x will equal minus 6. And here, or x will equal 4. So that means that our quadratic graph will cross the x-axis at the points minus 6 and 4. So it's going to look something like this. Please excuse my bad sketch. <laughs> it's like that. And it crosses at minus 6 and 4. Now, we know our line of symmetry passes through the middle of our parabola. So it's going to look something like that. And we know that it's in the middle. So to find this point, we just need to find the middle of 4 and minus 6. So we can do that by adding them together and halving it. So we could do minus 6 plus 4, which is equal to minus 2. And minus 2 divided by 2 is equal to minus 1. So that means that this mirror line passes through minus 1 on the x-axis. So this equation would be x equals minus 1. And that's it. OK, so we've looked at how to find the equation of the line of symmetry for quadratic graphs that have been drawn for us, or quadratic graphs that cross the x-axis. Now let's look at a technique which will help us find the equation of the mirror line really easily by using completing the square and transformations of graphs. There's two videos that you would need to watch before you watch this video. That's video 10 in corporate maths on completing the square and video 323 in corporate maths on transformations of graphs. I'm going to take it that you know those two topics pretty well throughout this explanation. Here we've got the graph y equals x squared. And as you know with the graph of y equals x squared, it's a parabola, or you might have called it a U-shaped graph, uh, but it's a parabola. And it goes through the point 0, 0, or the origin, because obviously 0 squared is 0. So that's the graph y equals x squared. Now, if you've watched the, uh, the transformations of graphs video, you'll know that if you consider, if you let that equal y equals f of x, that x squared graph, if you add a number to that x inside of the brackets, it will move the graph 
a squares to the left, okay? So in other words, if this graph here is what, uh, y equals f of x, the graph of y equals f of bracket x plus two would be the same graph but shifted or translated two squares to the left. So the instead of having a turning point at the origin, it would have a turning point at the point minus two zero. So that's that's going to be very useful in this topic. And um, if it was a minus, so if it was uh, y equals f bracket x minus a, it moves the translates the graph a squares to the right. It's sort of counterintuitive, I always say to my students. Next, what we're gonna do is we're also gonna consider what happens when you add outside of the brackets. In other words, y equals f of x plus a, where the a is outside of the brackets. That moves the graph or translates the graph a squares upwards. So if it was uh, y equals f of x plus three, it would move the graph three squares upwards. So instead of it having a turning point at the origin, the graph would have a turning point at the coordinate zero, three. So those two transformations are very important for this topic. So they're going to be very helpful for this topic. Okay, so let's have a look at our first question using completing the square to find that equation of the line of symmetry. So part A says write x squared plus 4x plus 25 in the form x plus a close bracket squared plus b. So in other words, we're going to do completing the square on this expression. So we're going to open our brackets and write x plus. Now we always have this coefficient of x and put it in the brackets. So half of 4 is 2 close bracket squared. And then we subtract whatever this number is squared. So 2 squared is 4. So we're going to subtract 4 and then put our plus 25 on the end. And then whenever we simplify this, we will get x plus 2 close bracket squared. And then minus 4 plus 25 is plus 21. So x squared plus 4x plus 25 in the form x plus a close bracket squared plus b is equal to x plus 2 close bracket squared plus 21. And you can check that. Expanding this would give you x squared plus 4x plus 4, and then plus 21 would give you your plus 25. So part B says, find the equation of the line of symmetry of y equals x squared plus 4x plus 25. Well, that's great because we've done completing the square on it, so we've got x plus 2 close bracket squared plus 21. Now let's start off with our x squared graph, uh, that u-shaped parabola. Now considering transformations of graphs, we know that this plus 2 will move the graph two squares to the left. So our x squared graph will move two squares to the left, and look something like that. And then the plus 21 will move it up 21. So our parabola would look something like that. So that point that was at the origin will be now be here, which was it's been moved two to the left, so that's minus two, and then move 21 up, so it's 21. So the coordinates at that point will be minus two, 21. Now we want to find the equation of the line of symmetry of this parabola. So if we consider that line of symmetry, it'll go straight through that minimum point and through the x-axis. And that line of symmetry would be x equals, and it'll cross the x-axis at minus two, because it's moved two to the left, so it'll be x equals minus two, and that's it. So the equation of the line of symmetry of y equals x squared plus four x plus 25 will be x equals minus two. Right, so let's have a look at one last example. So we've got y equals x squared minus six x minus 27. And we've been told it's got a line of symmetry and we've been asked to find the equation of that line of symmetry. So let's start by writing down the equation of the quadratic, y equals x squared minus six x minus 27. And we're going to do completing the square on this. So we're going to write y equals, then brackets, x. Now half of minus six is minus three, so minus three, close bracket squared. Then we subtract whatever this is squared, or well, minus three squared is nine, so subtract nine. And then we put our take away 27 on the end, so minus 27. So simplifying this will give us y equals, open brackets, x minus three squared. And then minus nine, take away 27 will be minus 36. So we've done completing the square on our quadratic. Now we can consider the transformations of the y equals x squared graph. So the y equals x squared graph is that u-shaped parabola that passes through the origin. And we've got a minus three inside of the bracket. So that will move the graph three squares to the right. So that turning point at the origin will move three squares to the right. So it'll move to three across. And then we've got subtract 36. So that will move the parabola 36 downwards. So it's gonna move down to minus 36. So we know we're going to have a turning point at 3 minus 36, and our parabola will look something like this. And again, please excuse my freehand drawn. It looks something like that. Okay? And we want to find the equation of the line of symmetry. So we want to find the equation of that mirror line that passes through the 3 on the x-axis. Well, then that would just be x equals 3. 
and that's it. So if you're happy with completing the square and transformations of graphs, that's a really useful technique to be able to find the equation of the line of symmetry. Now at A-level, you can use a technique using calculus, and there'll be another video on Corbin Mav showing you how to do that.